Hey, what's up, fantasy people? This is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, and Jason, the lucky bastard, Youth of Old, coming at you live from two different states. Alcohol percentage in our in our blood is probably like 0.1 something. Oh, it's illegal. It's illegal. If I had to drive, I would be put in jail, that's for sure. If so I had to today, walk, <laughs> i get arrested. Dude, when I went to Oregon State, they had the Tour de Franzia. You know what I'm saying? Like, people rode Tour bikes de France? with... Yeah, but with Franzia, that wine on the back of their bikes and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. literally getting pulled over left and right for DUIs. It was insane. Even on a bike that doesn't have so, a like, motor? Even on a bike. Like, say, like, I can't even ride a bike right now, dude. Maybe with training wheels, I could do it. It's been a while. <laughs> but, hey, this is the Fantasy Football Show. This is Jason and Tyler, your best friends. We're best friends, but we could be your best friend, too. And uh, More the better. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, I just want to tell you guys to please like and subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff. You know, I mean, we came out with, like, I don't even know, dude, like, almost one video per day for the last, like, three months, almost. Yeah, and, it's been uh, fun doing it, too. Oh, man, I love this stuff. And I looked into the future, and I was like, dude, we have videos until, you know, early February. Man, we have, like, three more months of this stuff. <laughs> so fun. Uh, so much fun activities. Yeah, dude. And so, if you like this, there's, no, there's nothing better for us in the world right now than liking and subscribing to us, dude. That'd be amazing. And if you don't like that, if you don't like us, tell us why, you know, leave a comment, leave a thumbs down. Tell us how we can change, please. But I will not change who <laughs> I am. Me neither, probably. Yeah. And I want to just we'll give a shout out. Hey, Jason, we got to give a shout out. Shout out! Shout out! <laughs> Matt! Woo -woo! YouTube Matt! Hey, dude, leaving the kindest words, liking, subscribing, like leaving like a Matt. comment, and a question. That was amazing, dude. Yeah. And then what do we have? We got uh, KJ Frederick. We got KJ up in here. And then we've got Kevin. I do not want to mispronounce your last name, person. Um, sorry I was late. I was late on your uh, <clears throat> Bateman and Dobbs. But, dude, I would have still started. I would have still started Bateman. You can't predict injuries. Dobbs is still like might not even play this weekend. So, and you know what, dude? Bateman would have had a huge game last last night after uh, Andrews went down, but he tweaked his foot. You can't predict injuries. You cannot predict injuries. I, the way Dobbs is playing, I definitely, well, the way the Packers in general are playing, I definitely would have gone with Bateman. Uh, well, they're especially... going against the Bills. Yeah, they're going against the Bills. And, uh, we knew that going into last night's game, it was going to be kind of pass happy. So I would have gone with Bateman. He would have probably had more opportunities than Dobbs. Well, Dobbs would not give you a dub. Well, when you say, oh, we knew it was going to be pass happy, I think the only person that knew it was going to be pass happy was you, Jason. Well, you My and I brought, are one. My dogs just brought their feet. They brought their fight. They <laughs> brought their feet. And they brought their fight into this room. Right they're going to they're gonna fight some feet. There's some feet fighters. <laughs> Sounds like a clan that's like going to fight the teenage ninja, ninja turtles. The dude, they're all fighters. breathing. They're all breathing heavy and like just going wrestling. Oh my god, dude! I, I told them. Clan. I told them I was shooting a video, Jason. They don't care, dude. My dog. When I say uh, shoot a video, she just runs underneath the bed. <laughs> you're so lucky. Yeah. I thought you were going to say like. She runs from my bullets. <laughs> Something like that. My bullets? <laughs> I'm going to shoot a video. <laughs> I was like, hey, no animals were injured during the production of this video. No. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to crack open a beer and enjoy. enjoy us. Hey, and also I want to say I figured out how to do uh, YouTube live, but the only problem is I know how to do it with one person, just me. So, like, we need to figure out, like, I don't know about the technology. If you guys want to comment... Like, uh, what kind of technology we need to be live streaming our beer night, our beer Fridays, dude? Because people drink on Fridays. It'd be awesome to share it with you guys. And uh, it would really drive the content, you know, as far as the conversation of this episode. Yeah, it would definitely be nice, too. Uh, it's Friday. It's uh, we're heading into the weekend. It's been a long week. Nice to open up beer, talk some football, talk, talk some football with some men or women. 
There's some women out there. Who hey, dude. Too. That like I said, uh, there's that that with with Chuck Taylor chick man. She's been out maneuvering me all the time on waiver wire. Oh, she changed her name to the to the less for uh, for Fortnite for oh my god Fortnite Fortnite to the less Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, they're like the less Fortnite fortune. Oh my god. Oh, like the less fortunate. Yes, thank you. The, the oh less Fortnite. That's funny. The less Fortnite. Okay, so I want to tell people. Uh, so, like, this morning, Antonio Gibson was predicted to get traded. I picked up Antonio Gibson. You probably didn't notice that. No. I was dealing with my own trades. I was trying to. Okay, so you got that. And then um, recently, um, Austin Eckler came on to, I think it was, like, Fantasy Football Happy Time or something like Happy Hour. I think it's some podcast. And so he had he predicted Justin Jackson, like, a couple of years ago or maybe last year. And Justin Jackson had a big game. He predicted uh, Gerald Everett before preseason. And now he's predicting, uh, he said, if Josh Palmer's out there, go pick up Josh Palmer. Yeah. So I just want to share with people. I mean, you're Mike Williams owner. Um, and Keenan Allen is just kind of like, whatever, dude, right now, like who knows when he's going to be fully healthy. Josh Palmer was on my waivers. So I went and picked him up. I was going to pick up. So I dropped James Cook. I was going to, and I'll talk about James Cook in a second. Like, one second. So James Cook. <laughs> so James Cook. Uh, he they. Uh, what's his name? Who's the backup? Jason Zach Moss, right? Yes. Zach Moss was a healthy scratch last game, and then James Cook was actually the number two on the depth chart. Um, but the game got out of hand, and so I picked him up because after buys, they spent. It was a second round draft pick, dude. After buys, big things happen. So right. Uh, yeah. I was just thinking, like, dude, I'm so desperate right now, you know, for a miracle. I was like, dude, I'm going to just pick up James Cook. So people out there that are desperate for a miracle, dude, pick up James Cook. because And just see how what he does on Sunday. Because there's a good chance that he may do a lot and then right. ride him second half. And I'm sorry, Jason, talk so much. but No, you're fine. This is that something that we've been kind of waiting for with the whole James Cook, right? They drafted James Cook for a reason. And I always thought if there was someone who was going to uh, have the misfortune of having James Cook on the Bills, it was going to be Zach Moss. I still believe like uh, Zach Moss is probably going to be gone at the end of this season, and they're going to use Singletary and James Cook. So, so healthy, yeah, healthy scratch. Zach Moss last game, and like, so how are we going to separate ourselves from you know? I mean, I know we're drinking, but like, other than our personality, how are we going to separate separate ourselves from different fantasy shows? Dude, I don't hear anything about, you know, James Cook. I don't I don't think these people are desperate like us. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And I, I feel like I'm in I'm desperate every year and it, and and that's what drives me, you know? And that's what makes me f- look for stuff that nobody else looks for and I'm like if I could share this with people, that's what's going to be valuable. So I think that's valuable. Yeah. We're James Cook people around here. Hey dude, that's why my name is Big Turd Ward is because he was my MVP and until he becomes something valuable I'm a big turd. So, anyways, last night, Ravens 27, Buccaneers 22. Jason, you watched the whole game or what? I watched the game. I sat on my brand new couch watching on my brand new TV. And you think you're rich? You think you're rich? Where'd you get your where'd you get that couch, man? You think you're rich? They're stolen. They're stolen. I heard uh, you got them from big lots. <laughs> I, I, I stole them from Goodwill. Actually, they were giving it to me, but I was like, no, I'm hardcore, man. I got a tattoo. I'm going to steal these. <laughs> Put them in my truck. Put them in my truck. I was walking around like this, like I like I had a gun. <laughs> what the dude? Shut up. Man. <laughs> I was like, Put it in my truck, Goodwill. <laughs> um, so, obviously, like, watching these games, because, you know, me and Tyler do our player uh, pause, and we always try to see, like, how close we were to being correct, incorrect. And as soon as the Ravens got the ball, I was like, damn, how he's only thrown the ball to Mark Andrews. I was like, this is it. I was like, this is what I was talking about. People listen. People need to listen. Then he went out with an injury. And like the third in the third drive, he I think the second drive, he actually got hurt. Never came back. Uh by that time, he had three receptions for 33 yards and five targets on two drives. And it was uh, it was beautiful to watch for a moment. He probably got most people around like five, six points in the tight ends this year. That's pretty much average. 
Hey, dude, I mean, he would have got you as many points as he would have started somebody off the waivers. And yeah. so uh, Andrews was left after 10 snaps. And then Isaiah likely came in for 51 of the next 76 snaps. Likely 30 in the, the slot. Man. Dude, 30 in the slot. 13 in line, which is, you know, traditional tight end. Yeah. And then uh, eight out wide. So that's – and he had, a, he had almost – you know, he had like an 18.5% target share. So almost a 20% target share. And I was like, who is this rookie wide receiver? I was like, they drafted Duvernay and Likely? Like, what the hell's going on around here? Yeah, they – uh, no, Likely was a god in preseason. And it was – I remember what? watching this, and I was like, yeah. dude, Likely is so good – but he's not going to get any recognition because obviously Mark Andrews is going to get a starting position over him. Likely killed it. He led the team in tar- – or no, he was second in targets. He had six receptions, led the team in yards with 77. He had one touchdown. And the whole time I was thinking this, I was like, Baltimore, you have two great tight ends. One's a rookie, you know. Why don't you have them on the field at the same time like uh, the Patriots were doing well, Aaron Hernandez and Gronkowski? I don't, you, I don't, don't, you don't have great wide receivers to uh, throw the ball. I think he's only like 6'4", like 230, you know, and like uh, I don't think he's – he might not be – he's a rookie, so I don't think he's the greatest blocker. Yeah. So I'm guessing like when they have – I'm guessing they have like a blocking tight end and a pass catching tight end. Because that fool, like, literally, I mean, I mean, you know, he ran routes on, like, you know, 90% of them. So, I'm guessing they have – they he just can't pass protect. But, dude, I mean, that was – I was just, like – I was blown away by that guy. And, but the problem is – so, we should address this. Mark Andrews, 3 for 33, like you said, five targets. <clears throat> his strange shoulder, he's only day-to-day. It's not serious. Right. So, as good as likely was – I don't think he's the person that you want in the future. I think the person that you want in the future is Duvernay. And uh, why he's been on my Duvernay. Fucking... Oh, he did have he four just... receptions. Be careful. Do not... Oh, my I'm gosh. So... The beer. And now he doesn't understand the words. He needs to hold back. This is a children's right. show. We're on Disney+. Plus. can still be PG-13 with one F-bomb, right? <laughs> one F-bomb is all you got, and you wasted it on duvet duvet whatever his name is dude duvet looks awesome man and he's been on my i was gonna say he's been on my f and waivers for like four weeks dude my waiver show like uh i and to that guy that was starting bateman i was like dude i'm about done with bateman i'm about to drop i mean i'm about to say you should drop bateman and just keep duvet and uh roll with him every week dude because it's just like well bateman, bateman has hmm. also been injured too What's what I'm saying? And he re-aggravated the same injury, though, man. So it's like – it's almost like Keenan Allen. At what point you're, are you just like enough, man? And then like just like – I'll talk about Julio Jones later, but it's yeah. just these people that keep on re-aggravating. And, and like how much do you want to hurt – like how much fun do you want to have fantasy football? Do you want to worry about it all the time? Or do you just want to play people and forget about them, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, with, that, with that being said – uh, I know they, they were trying to get uh, Prochet the second involved. They really like that guy, but there wasn't really much anybody else besides uh, Likely, Robinson, and Andrews in the beginning. I mean, in, Duvernay. Well, like, I, thought like, was, go on. Well, I, thought, I thought it was interesting about Robinson because, uh, you know, I knew he got traded. I knew they lost. I knew Kansas City lost him in the offseason because, you know, Robinson would every once in a while would have some great games for uh, Kansas City, but yeah. <clears throat> I did not know they traded him. And then last night I figured it out, but I would not pick up Robinson. I would, I would not rely on Robinson. I mean, yeah, he was great last night, but that was because their tight end was injured and they did not know what to do. And um, I just really like Duvernay and I really like Isaiah Likely. So I don't know if I would really mess with them until I, unless I was like in a 14 man league or something like that. I think, oh man, I, I mean, obviously I'm not an NFL coach, but it would be great if they started both tight ends because the Buccaneers had like what, like four defensive back who were not even playing in the game. They were injured. And with Mark Andrews going out and, you know, Bateman going out, 
Bateman's not a guy who usually gets you 10 receptions a game anyway, but it looked like they really had no no one to throw the ball to. And that's kind of concerning if I'm a Ravens fan. I'm like, you had the opportunity to just kill the Buccaneers' defensive backs because they were all third and fourth stringers. And, like, they did – he did well. But I, I was getting to a point where I was thinking it was going to be, like, 35 points, 40 points. because, But for some reason, they just couldn't do it. Second half was a lot better. Lamar Jackson was able to get some, like, rushing yards and stuff like that. But I think the Ravens, they need to go out and get themselves, like, for the draft next year, they need to get themselves a wide receiver that they could use in situations where uh, – Well, they have Deshaun, Jack- they have the Deshaun Jackson waiting, right? Right. I mean, John Deshaun Jackson's kind of – he's to the point where he's older. He's – there's a reason why he's on free agency right now. He's definitely going to be able to, like, stress, uh, stretch the field some. But if you could really think that he might be, like, a, a fan – like, you would want to have him on your team and, like, play him every week, you know, I don't think that's the answer. I, I think they – they probably – Remember last year when he killed it for the – because, you know, I was Matthew Stafford owner, and I picked up Sean Jackson when he killed it that one game. That one game. I think he got two concussions, like, the, the game, like, in a row. Yeah. And that's what sent him on his way. I think he's going to so, be there. He, he's going to able to allow – uh to stretch the field some. I think he, he – I, I don't know. Dude, Duver, I, I swear to God, dude, I think DuVernay is faster, and no kidding, he's bigger – than Deshaun Jackson right now and so it's like yeah Deshaun Jackson like can improvise and like do what he needs to do man who was that who was the rookie last night that was or was Isaiah likely that was improvising so well dude it was ridiculous yeah but like uh but the problem is it's like yeah great Isaiah likely is great but he's got Mark Andrews in front of him so it doesn't matter I was like Hayden Hurst you know Baltimore drafted Hayden Hurst early he was gonna be Oh, he was going to be one of those players that I think they had a whole game plan for him and everything like that. But, you know, with Mark Andrews being the person that he is, he didn't get a lot of playing time. Next, you know, uh, Hayden Hurst is uh, playing for the Bengals. I think they like drafting these tight ends. The only problem is that with Mark Andrews is playing these other tight ends, so they don't get a lot of uh, reps. So it's always one of those situations where, like, okay, Mark and- Mark Andrews is down. Uh, let's let's go out and get likely. The likelihood of us getting a likely is high <laughs> because no one's going to have him. But uh, Mark Andrews is most like I mean, most of the time he's very reliable and he's not like injury prone or anything like. I that. I bet you but, he'll be back next week, dude. Like uh, just reading what I read today, he's so got like, ten days uh, off. So, well, it was exciting. To, to see likely and like um you know the drop off between likely and um mark andrews isn't that much like i see likely as being way more athletic but um mark andrews wingspan and like just height you know yeah. is noticeable i wish they, like i still wish they had them both on the field i, I think it would help out lamar jackson a lot more so i want to um address a couple of elephants in the room elephants in the room um, uh, you know, hey, Jason, take a drink for Tom Brady and his uh, family. It sucks. Maybe you know, now he could focus on football. Well, hey, dude. I mean, I knew that they were going through divorce, but I didn't think they're going to be doing it like right in the middle of the season. Today, we they got you know it was official. They're going through divorce. They finalized it. So, um, it sucks. Um, for the kid. It sucks for the kids. It sucks for all that stuff. But. I see, you know, maybe in the future. I mean, Tom Brady looked decent last night. I know people were like, oh, my God, dude, Tom Brady wants to die in the field. Let him, you know, and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, like, at the Bury same time, at halftime. it was their offensive line sucked, dude. But Tom Brady was hanging in there until the last second to try to make plays. It looked like it was more of, like, an offensive line or wide receiver's uh, I'm like I said, we don't know the actual routes these wide receivers were running, but there was a lot of incomplete passes where you saw Tom Grady go to his wide receivers and be like, da, 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 F, da, 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 what was K. Dotton, dude? K. Dotton, yeah. But like, dude, people were calling for Tom Brady's head last night. Like, and I was like, dude, I, I had to go back and watch the game and I watched it with, uh, you know, Ray, my wife, and it was like, 
Tom Brady did not look that bad to me. It was like everything else around him that looked bad. And so he, he was like jumping in the pocket and, you know, he can't escape. He looks so slow, dude. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's always been slow. Yeah. He's always been slow, but now it's like, oh my God. Molasses. So maybe, I mean, he threw for what? 375 or something like that. I'll check. 325. Um, I predicted okay. three touchdowns for him, Jason. Well, you know, when you when you have player when you have apparently wide receivers who can't even run a route, uh, it's hard to get the ball <laughs> into their hands. Um, with that said, we're gonna have to continue this on video number. There's what how many minutes has it been? I can't I mean, it says we have like 30 seconds and this is gonna automatically shut down. Are you kidding me? I swear to god, I feel like we've only been on here for like five minutes. Oh my god, all right. Stop, stop. Okay, we'll be we'll right see you later. <laughs>